Well, I've got a pile of old wood here from some salvaged cabinets, and I just got a new bandsaw, so I'm thinking I can make a bandsaw box or two out of this. My slab's done, I can glue on my pattern. Uh, the design that I'm going with is not my own design. It's somebody else's design that I've seen a lot on the internet. And I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Uh, I really like this design, and I'm just mainly trying to get some bandsaw experience. By removing the legs on the center section, once we put this back together and glue it all in place, we're going to have the appearance of a four-legged chest of drawers. Now I just need to glue the front piece onto the main body and start cutting my drawers. things to mention real quick. I should have cut the crack before I cut the back off. Uh, luckily I'm making three so I'm learning as I go and on the second one that's exactly what I did. I cut the crack before I cut the back off. Also in order to cut uh, these other drawers out you need to cut the actual support in between each drawer to get into this cavity. So now I've got to come back and glue all this together and using these reference lines to make sure that everything is lined up nice and neat. Once all my drawers are cut out and the back and front are removed, I can cut out this center section to make a cavity uh, to form an actual drawer. With all my drawer pieces cut, I can sand the inside and then glue my front and back pieces back on. I've taken some of this really dark green poplar and made some simple poles out of it. It's just a little strip of wood with a round over on both sides. So that's it, a couple of jewelry boxes from trash wood that would otherwise be rotting in a landfill right now. So, I want to give a big thanks and a shout out to Steve Carmichael, the CarmichaelWorkshop.com. Last year he made a really cool bandsaw box, joy box for his daughter. And uh, that was the inspiration for me to go ahead and make one of my own. Now like I said, this isn't my design, I found it on the internet. If you click the link in the description below to go to my website, I will show you where you can find not only the template for this, but also you can check out Steve's video. Uh, the third one, I've been saying the third one, I'm making three of these, the whole video. Uh, it's going to be painted and I'll show you that in a couple weeks on my website when I get around to it. But uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.